Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Budapest, Hungary, and Hungarian food is amazing, and I love the culture here. This is a beautiful city, but we have been in Europe for, I think, three weeks now, and Ying and I need some Chinese food. And so this, actually, Budapest is the perfect place to eat Chinese food because they have some of the best Chinese food in Central Europe. Uh, they have one of the biggest Chinese populations in Central Europe, and they even have a Chinatown. And so today, we are gonna go, never been to Budapest Chinatown, but we're going to Chinatown. We're gonna eat some Chinese food and just walk around Chinatown a little bit and explore. <music> Budapest is such a beautiful city. So I'm gonna go walk to the park, Ying and Mike are at the park, and then we're gonna take a taxi into Chinatown, Budapest, to eat some Chinese food in Hungary. Okay, let's go. All over Budapest, they have such cool playgrounds. Look at this pirate ship. Micah, you like it? Micah, are you having fun? Okay, thank you. way to Chinatown and it's about I think it's about three or four kilometers outside of the from the river from the center of Budapest Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Welcome to Chinatown Budapest. That was like about a 15 minute ride. And then along the way, we just passed this like massive warehouse Chinese market. It looked like it could just be straight in China, from China. Uh, but uh, I know that's that was a little bit down the street. But then I think here there's quite a lot of Chinese markets as well and a lot of Chinese restaurants in this neighborhood as well. Um, but wow, just a lot of trade, a lot of products. Chinatown Budapest, very cool. We're gonna just go straight to eat first because we're pretty hungry. So I think the restaurant is within this little plaza. Oh, smell I can smell rice. it. Yeah, I can smell rice cooking, that's for sure. Without a doubt. Incredibly good. We are hungry. We're ready to eat Chinese food. That's for sure. Um, oh man, there's just so many things. I think the food is mainly Sichuan style food here. Um, with you can see the Sichuan peppercorns, the red chili oil. What should mapo tofu? Either this one or this one. This is pork. I think this is chicken. Oh my god. We got the ordering done, but actually this place is pretty cool. They have a whole, um, all the different, some of the different dishes prepared and people come in here, get a styrofoam box of rice and different dishes on top, and just like China. Uh, but they also have a la carte menu, so we ordered a la carte menu. We want the full plates of food. does come fast and I love it. Um, you and I are starting with the hot and sour soup because we needed some soup. Immediately you smell the aroma of that vinegar, the sourness. How is it? You? Good? Oh yeah, it's so good. You. Oh man, that's perfect. Oh, that's one of the, the better hot and sour soups I've had in a long time. Sour, vinegary, a little bit spicy. 
Mm. And so much like chunk in it. The fungus, the water fungus, the tofu. Mm. Oh, it's so good. That is so incredibly good. Man, their hot and sour soup here is just absolutely incredible. It really is like one of the best hot and sour soups I've had. Mm. The flavor, the mix of sourness and spiciness, it is so good. Oh. Yes. The dishes are just somehow just flying. I think they're cooked upstairs, I'm not even totally sure. And there's this elevator that brings the food down and then just all of a sudden it just appears on your table. Um, but this next next dish that Ying actually ordered, that's, I thought it was just gonna be some fried cabbage, but that is like supreme fried cabbage with a little bit of pork and you can see the garlic on um, a fire pan. So she lit up the, the fire pan. Then we also got that mapo tofu has just arrived as well. Oh, look at that. Well, that smells and looks incredible. Like, the food here, like, honestly, the dishes I've tasted so far, you would not know you're not in China. You would have no idea that you are in Budapest, Hungary. This is awesome. I am loving it. I think all the dishes have arrived, but I got to try that cabbage while it's smoking hot and on the flame. The juices are sizzling. Oh, that looks so good. It smells so good with the meat just for flavoring, pretty much. We gotta start with that. Oh wow. The meat flavor, the wacky smokiness, mm. Mm. and just how hot and sizzling it is. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, let's try the mapo tofu, and then we also, the other dish that we got is a, a chicken. Probably you can see the Sichuan peppercorns, some vegetables, mostly green onions, and some dry chilies as well. <laughs> Mapo tofu. Mm. Oh yeah, the Mapo tofu is so good too. Mm. You, just a hint of a Sichuan pepper buzz, salty. It's umami, you taste the, the fermented bean aroma to it. A little bit of meat for flavoring. And then that tofu, is the, that's the perfect tofu. That's like the soft, silky tofu. In my experience, sometimes they're spicy, sometimes they're not that spicy. Um, not that spicy. But, like, it's the dry chili aroma fragrance that matters. Mm. And that is delicious. Okay, the heat grows a little bit. As you keep on chewing the seeds of the chili, it's, it's pretty spicy. Honestly, if I closed my eyes, both the taste of the food and this environment, and even what you hear, like you would think you're in China, not in the middle of Central Europe in Budapest. Okay, and then final dish is the chicken, full of chilies, full of Sichuan pepper and garlic and green onions. Oh yeah. The chicken is incredible. The chili flavor, again the Sichuan pepper, there's sesame seeds in there. Oh, that's the flavor I love. Oh, oh I'm awesome. Wow. Seriously good food. Oh. It's so hot. Yeah, it sounds good.
Wash it all down with hot tea. Oh, I'm so satisfied now. Oh, that was good. That was just like ultra flavorful, delicious happiness. If only one complaint, the food was a little bit on the salty side, especially the mapo tofu was a little bit salty, but that was delicious. That was so good. We needed that. Uh, Chinese food wafts of fumes just coming from this entire Chinatown. It smells so good. They're out the doors. Oh man, this is a little Chinese food paradise in Budapest in Central Europe. Budapest Chinatown is totally different. It's more like everywhere you look, they're like people are importing things from China, goods, jackets. Um, there's restaurants in between, but you have less of like the, at least that I've seen, less of like Chinese looking buildings and more about just an entire business, commerce, trade, Chinese community. So I guess what more I'm trying to say is that as opposed to having a stereotypical Chinese Chinatown look to it, it just straight up looks like a neighborhood in China. I think what we'll do from here is we're just gonna walk down the road to that main wholesale giant shopping Chinese market plaza. Um, and then we'll just walk around there a little bit before we end this Chinatown tour of Budapest. We just walked all the way down this entire stretch. It's just like market warehouse after market warehouse. Yeah, but anyway, just like this is the type of place you could come buy everything from China you can possibly imagine from clothes to kitchen goods to industrial goods. And they're all within this like entire block of buildings and area. <laughs> it's a totally different side of Budapest, that's for sure. And we're gonna just walk down a little ways more maybe to the, to another Chinese center, but I think that's pretty much gonna be it. This is where I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video, this tour of Chinatown Budapest. Mainly, we came to eat Chinese food and the Chinese food was so good. Um, but this is, it was nice to see this side of Budapest as well. And that was a lot of fun. If you love Chinese food, I'd highly recommend that restaurant that we went to. And that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a big thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more travel tips, travel tours, accommodation, and I'll see you on the next video.